welcome students this is the lesson number 17 in which i will introduce you to total station actually in surveying while we go for land surveying walk we do measure the distances and the angles uh, among the distances also we do measure horizontal distance vertical distance and we want to measure horizontal angle vertical angle now in conventional methods actually we make use of different type of instrument for different type of measurement which is sometimes cumbersome sometimes we end up with data we having different accuracy so using those type of data in surveying work we will not end up with good result further in conventional methods also we had to go for a lot of uh, office work to reduce the data useful for preparation of the map or the purpose for which we will be using surveying data. Now, in order to avoid all those cumbersome steps and the physical work in doing carrying out the computations and reduction of data, we nowadays use one instrument called total station, which has the capability to measure, reduce, then store the data automatically. So, in this class we will be learning about what constitutes the total station is, how does it look, I will tell you about different parts of the instrument. And this lesson is will be like introduction followed by I will show you the total station and then I will tell you about the different parts of the instrument. So, as I told you surveying involves measurement of distance and angles and conventional methods require different types of instrument which is often cumbersome and provides different level of accuracy. Further in conventional methods we need to have field book followed by office work. So, all these works we can do in a single go automatically by using a instrument called total station. In fact, in total station we get all the surveying data in digital format also. So, it will be convenient for us to transfer the data from the instrument to the computer or to the mapping software to prepare our map or to do some other design work where surveying parameters are required. So, we use total station to collect the field data. In fact, we make use of GPS what we have already learned to establish the control point and those control points are transferred to total station. After transferring the control points to total stations, we make use of total station to collect the other field data. So, uh, actually a total station is an instrument which is basically an electronic instrument also have some optical features. Fundamentally it is an electronic theodolite and in which we have an optical telescope as well as it is integrated with an electronic distance measuring instrument EDM and also it is interfaced with some microprocessor and many other accessories like keyboard, display uh, unit, then data collector. Also it is associated with a field computer, ultimately field computer uh, through a field computer all the works is being done. And in the inside the total station actually a microprocessor which really controls all the operations of the different parts of the instrument. Uh, it is the microprocessor which makes the measurements and also using microprocessor we do carry out the computations that means uh, your, our total station carries out the computations. And finally, it provides all our final measurement parameters like horizontal distance vertical distance, lobe distance, horizontal angle, vertical angle, the location of points all these things we do get directly 
from total station and that is available for us in the display unit as well as it gets stored inside the memory of the total station. Now, these uh, the total station actually vary there are different types of total station actually depending upon how good or how bad it carry out the measurement. That means, it is the total station carries out measurement by using some circle reading and how accurately how precisely what is the amount it can what is the little amount that means, what is the list count of that circle reading that defines the type of total station. Some variety of total station may measure or have the list count as little as 0.1 second and uh, some variety may be as big as 20 second. So, uh, in between there are any value like 1 second total station, 2 second total station, there may be 5 second total station, there are 15 second total station, 20 second total station like that. So, depending upon what is the least count of circle reading, the type of total station depends. This is one variety, another variety is based on uh, again we can classify the total station based on the control. That means, what is the basis or how do total station operates? That means, total station can be operated manually. That means, a <coughs> person will personally work out, carry out the work, give provide the commands and do the things in the field that is called manual total station and most of the total stations are manual in nature and there are some total station which is termed as robotic. Actually, robotic type of total station will be uh, can be operated uh, from remote area and from distance. So, we do take measurement using robotic total station in the advantage of having the robotic total station is that it will identify or locate the sensor automatically at the at the instruction of the operator who is, who will be holding the sensor. So, with this background I would like to now show different types of total stations. Now, this is one of the total varieties of total station actually this is having an accuracy of 1 second. That means, we you, uh, the this total station can read a reading up to 1 second. Now, this is one more variety of total station which I told you that is the robotic total station. This total station uh, rotates of its own through motor and using the sensor it will rotate automatically to find out the sensor and take the reading. So, this is a robotic total station. Now, this is one more total station which is of manual type. This total station is having an accuracy of 5 seconds. Now, I will explain in detail about this total station. This is a manual type of total station and the accuracy of this is 5 seconds and in future we will do all our work or demonstration using this total station. Now, as I told you that the total station is an electronic theodolite. Now, you know in a theodolite there are two uh, there is a standard. So, this is the this is the standard equivalent to our conventional theodolite and this is the vertical circle and there is a horizontal circle here. Along with this electronic theodolite there is an EDM. So, uh, this is the EDM actually the EDM in total station is capped around the 
telescope of the theodolite. Now, uh, this is the objective lens, this is the objective lens of the theodolite and telescope and this is the eyepiece and in this telescope this is, this is the focusing screw. So, you can see we this telescope can rotate about a axis which is called turnion axis there is an imaginary line about which this telescope can rotate in a vertical plane that is called turnion axis. Now, uh, in this total station, this is the vertical circle knob main screw. If I fix it, then the, our telescope will be fixed and if we want to move fine adjustment telescope then we have to use this is called fine tuning vertical circle knob. So, now if I open it the telescope will be able to move around the turnion axis about the turnion axis. Now, this knob this knob is the horizontal circle fixing knob if I fix it then it will not move. So, if we open it the whole of this assembly will move about a vertical axis passing through this point. So, like this and this is required for horizontal angle measurement. Now, if I fix this knob then there will not be any movement. Now, after fixing this in knob, if we want to have fine tuning of horizontal angle measurement or about the vertical axis movement, we need fine, fine movement, then we can use this knob. This is a this is used to see whether our instrument is just above the center or not. The microprocessor part is inside this instrument, so it will not be we will not be able to see it. However, this is the part display and this is the keyboard using this keyboard making it on using this keyboard we can give different instruction to uh, this total station to carry out. Now, apart from this you can see actually the whole of total station there are two parts one is uh, above this and this below one this is called tri-back portion and this instrument is fixed. Now, it is a fixing lock this fixing lock when it is as uh, it is locked. So, our upper part is locked with the lower part. Now, if we open this lock then we can take out this upper part from the lower part. I will later tell you what is the use of that and with this tri back there are 3 foot screws these are the foot screws these foot screws are used to level the instrument and uh, these foot screws are rest on a plate called base plate and this base plate is used to fix with this type of stand. So, Apart from that there are so many other small parts like uh, this is called handle. So, as it can be seen and as you, it is very easy to say that this handle is used to carry the instrument. Then here there is an arrangement though in this instrument we do not have, but we can fix some antenna here which is called Bluetooth antenna in this figure you can see it this is the Bluetooth antenna which is not there in this instrument. So, it can be fixed here similar to this kind then uh, this is a thing like number 3 external interface hatch. So, 
if we want to fix any external USB and all these things, we can fix it at this point. So, this is the external interface hatch. There is a mark here, you can see this mark provides the height of the instrument, height of the instrument above this point. So, this is fixed, we can measure from this point to this point we know and from this point to this point we measure. So, then we can get the height of the instrument and this is the battery cover, you can see here this is the battery. So, we can if we want to take out battery for charging on other purpose we can open it and then take out it and otherwise we can keep it and fix it. This is the battery cover. So, and already I told you this is the display unit. Now, you can see here this display unit is with the keyboard, but other side this display unit without keyboard. The reason man is that uh, the operator will do this in this direction and any other person who will, who will be able to see many other person will be able to see really what it is going on. So, there is no need to have both a keyboard. Then uh, our serial connector, uh, here you can see this is the serial connector. So, uh, generally it is used to download or upload the data, download the data from the instrument to computer or sometimes from computer to our instrument. Then there is a circular bubble here. Uh, so, you can see here there is a circular bubble which provides us whether our instrument is level or not. In case it is level, then the circular bubble will be at the center. By in that way, I will be able to know whether our instrument is uh, properly leveled or not. And uh, this is a part which is for permanent adjustment. That means, if there is something wrong with the circular bubble in construction defect or some other problem arise, so the uh, in the machine in the shop or in the lab, this may be used to correct those permanent adjustment optical plummet already I told you that this is the optical plummet, this is the optical plummet and this is the optical plummet from a focusing screw, this is the eyepiece of the optical plummet. Now, one more thing in this you can see this part, this part this is the that luminance sensor. So, this is used this luminous sensor find out what is the luminance around depending upon that automatically the uh, brightness of the screen goes up or down makes it down depending upon your need. Then 16 guide light here, now here is a part actually this is the call this is a call guide light. So, whenever we will like to see some object first approximately we will look through this to approximate the object bisect the object. Now, approximately when we will see that we have reached arrived at the object then we may look through our telescope to actually bisect the thing once the object is bisected then we will fix up the horizontal fixing screw then again focusing it properly using the fine uh, horizontal screw we will uh, exactly bisect the object. Then objective lens already I had told you this is the objective lens of the telescope that means the lens which will 
be facing towards the observed that is the objective lens and the lens which will be facing to the instructor or the observer or the uh, operator that is the eyepiece and the line. So, there are two lens one is the objective lens which will be pointing towards object and another is the eyepiece lens. The center of this and the center of this if we join we will get a line that is called the line of sight. So, this is another important line. So, we got tilting axis tilting axis is the line imaginary line about which the telescope rotates in a vertical plane then vertical axis it is the line imaginary line passing through this instrument and passing through the station center about which the instrument rotates in a horizontal plane and the line of sight is the line along which the observer uh, looks through uh, to get the object identified. These are the three important uh, lines which are we will be using in future more and more. Tubular complex shot actually there is a slot where we can go for computer tubular computer can be at uh, tubular compass can be erected, but uh, not available here now. Mm. Vertical fine motion screw or vertical clamp as I told you this is the this is the vertical clamp screw. So, if I clamp it the telescope will not move if we open it telescope will be move about in a vertical plane this is vertical clamp screw and this is vertical clamp fine screw. Then similarly this is the horizontal clamp screw and this is the horizontal clamp fine screw. Then tri back clamp as I told you this is the tri back clamp which will clamp the upper part of the instrument with the lower part. If we open it then upper part can be taken out uh, this is generally used for keeping the centering of this uh, tripod stand on the station and if we want to use different instrument on the same point on the same station then this we want to keep as it is only we will like to take out this instrument and we will like to take uh, uh, we will like to fix a new instrument. So, for that purpose this clamping screw is useful and we do it we make use of that clamping screw try back clamp in that way. Sighting collimator that is the sighting collimator and then your instrument center mark actually there is a point here which is called the instrument center mark we assume whenever this instrument is properly leveled and properly center over the station then the vertical axis will pass through this point and the center point of the station. So, this is the vertical axis line will pass through this point and the instrument station location. So, uh, in short I have given some definitions like this. So, with this I will like to conclude about the introduction to total station actually uh, total station is an integrated instrument electro electronic come optical instrument its angle measurement horizontal circle angle measurement vertical circle angle measurements are done using electronic uh, concept electronics making, making use of some electronics equipment and the sighting or bisecting the object is done 
optically through using this telescope and it makes use of some microprocessor to give command to this to give instruction to the instrument to carry out to measure the to take measurement to reduce the data to for computation and to store the data in the computer memory. <coughs> so, total station is an integrated instrument which can measure reduce data, measure observation, reduce data, compute data and store data in digital format. Nowadays, this total station is extensively used all surveying work, construction surveys, land surveying all these things. In this course, we will make use of this instrument to we will learn how to make use of this instrument to collect or other field data. With this I like to conclude, thank you.